everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another episode of my celebrity inspired makeup tutorial series. Today is a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I saw a picture recently that Makeup by Ariel and also Kylie posted herself of her wearing this kind of beautiful peach monochromatic makeup of the peach on the eyes, super long lashes, peach on the cheeks and also this beautiful peach liquid lipstick which is also from Kylie Cosmetics, this is the shade Dirty Peach and he created the look based around this um, lip kit and I'm absolutely obsessed. I've gone completely out of my comfort zone with this tutorial, I would never normally wear kind of like a peachy lip and peachy eye, but I'm so obsessed with how this look turned out. So this here was the look that I was inspired by, this is Kylie um, recently, I think this picture was only taken a couple of weeks ago um, of the makeup that she wore recently and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So as soon as I saw this picture I just had to recreate this makeup and do it as one of my celebrity inspired makeup tutorials. So if you want to know how to recreate this beautiful Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial then please keep on watching. Okay so to start this tutorial I'm going to start with my brows today. Um, Kylie in the picture always has quite soft defined brows so the first thing I'm going to use is my Benefit Gimme Brow. I'll use this in the shade medium deep and I'm just going to run this through my brows to start this look. I'm just running this through with the growth of the hair and then I'm also running it the opposite way as well just to make sure the product goes all the way through. Now to add a little bit more definition to my brows and a little bit more shape, I'm now gonna use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I'll use mine in the shade number four. And this has a little spoolie brush on one side and it has almost like a thicker angled pencil on the other side. So I'm just gonna use this kind of through the tail part of my brow just to add a little bit of soft definition and now to set my brows in place I'm going to use a little bit of the Benefit um, Ready Set Brow. This is a 24 hour waterproof brow setting gel and this is just going to ensure that our brow products last all day and also make sure that our hairs stay in place. I'm now going to carve out my brows using the Benefit High Brow Pencil. This is in the shade... what colour is this? It doesn't say, but it is the um, matte pink shade. So it's not the one with the shimmer, it's just the complete matte color. And I'm gonna use this to carve out underneath my brows because in the picture, Kylie had on um, quite a strong brow highlight. So as you can see, I'm just running that underneath my brow. I'm now gonna go in with this Real Techniques um, accent brush it's the purple one and i'm going to use this to blend out the highbrow so i'm using this just to diffuse the highbrow pencil underneath the brows okay so now moving on to the eyes as you can see in the picture here kylie has on a really beautiful peachy blown out eyeshadow and her makeup artist did list the products that he used on the Instagram post and the main eyeshadow he said he used was this citron colour from her Kai shadow palette. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my lids and I'm going to use this product here which is the one I always use. This is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and this is a really lovely kind of warm toned eyeshadow base. This is just going to stop our products from creasing and make sure that it lasts really well on the eyes. So I'm just going to take this on a Zoeva concealer buffer brush and I'm just going to use this all over the lid and then just blending it in. Now, because this is a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial and inspired by one of her looks, I'm obviously going to have to use her Kai Shadow palette, and this is her bronze palette. It is absolutely beautiful. I love all of the shade selections in this as well. I think the colours are absolutely gorgeous. This here, the middle colour here, which is Citrine or Citrin, which is a beautiful kind of warm tone peachy orange colour, was the shade that her makeup artist said that he used all over the eye. I am I'm going to first use though the colour Jasper, that colour right there, this is a beautiful really creamy and blendable matte eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to set our MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to use this like I said to set the paint pot. This is just going to ensure that all of the shadows that we pop on over the top are going to blend really lovely and seamless 
and it just gives us a really nice blank canvas. So to start out the peachy eyeshadow, the first colour I'm going to use is actually a blusher, which is the blush I'm going to be using on my cheeks later on. But this is the colour Peaches from MAC, which is a beautiful peach warm tone matte blusher. And I'm actually going to be using this on my MAC 224 blending brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that and just start popping that through the crease. This is just going to make um, the citron colour that I'm going to put on later blend a lot smoother and it's also going to give it a little bit of a gradient so it going from the light brow bone colour through to this peach shade right here in the upper part of the crease and then with the citron colour all over the lid. So now I've got the transition shade down I'm now going to go in with the main colour which is this colour here from the Kai Shadow palette. This is the colour that her makeup artist Ariel put on his Instagram as the main colour that he used on her eyes in the look. So I'm going to use this on my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to pick up a really small amount at first because these eyeshadows are quite pigmented and I'm going to put this into the lower part of the crease and I'm almost going to do this as like a wash all over the eyes so I'm actually going to take this all over the lid into the inner corner I'm now going to go in with a matte brown eyeshadow and I'm going to use a mixture between these two shades here which are the colours Hematite and Bronzite, so I'm going to use a mixture of these two on a little angled brush from Real Techniques. So this is what the brush looks like, it's a quite a thick angled brush and I'm going to use this eyeshadow kind of along the outer corners of my eyes, blending it inwards just to add a little bit of subtle definition because in the picture Kylie did have on really thick false eyelashes but it looks like she had almost like a brown just defining her lash line. So I'm just going to use this as almost like a subtle eyeliner just to add some definition because the eyes are quite peachy you need something there just to add a little bit of definition so when we put the lashes on it just really makes them stand out okay now with a makeup wipe i'm just going to use this to clean up any eyeshadow that has fallen down I'm now going to apply some um, Coal Eyeliner from Soap & Glory, this is their Smolder Coal Liner in the shade Black and I'm going to use this to tight line my eyes. So I'm going to use it up here just to add a little bit more definition to the eyes so when we put the lashes on it adds some more definition. I'm now going to apply some mascara today, I'm going to be using the Their Real Mascara from Benefit. I'm just going to use this to prep my lashes before I apply my false ones. So I'm just going to do one really thin coat of this mascara. I'm now going to apply some false eyelashes. Now in the look, Kylie looked as if she had some kind of lash extensions on. Her lashes were really long and wispy, so today I'm going to be using the MAC number 35 lashes now these are some of my favorite pairs of eyelashes just because they add so much length and definition but as you can see they're kind of um in together in little um clusters so it makes the lashes look really long and wispy and separated just how Kylie's were so I'm gonna go and apply these lashes and I will be back okay now moving on to the face I've just put the lashes on as you can see they're super long and wispy so now moving on to the face makeup so the first thing I'm gonna use today is the Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base this is just a really nice moisturizing priming base so it just makes the foundation go on super smooth and flawless i absolutely love this product it smells amazing it smells almost like lemony and really fresh and i just find that it makes my foundation go on a lot smoother and because i, I did moisturize my skin this morning but it just needs a little bit of a boost so i'm just going to pop this on all over and as you can see it just adds an instant kind of glow and luminosity back into the skin. Now Kylie's skin looks super smooth and flawless in the makeup that I saw in the picture so I'm now going to use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smoothing Base and I'm going to use this in my T-zone just to smooth out any pores. This product is really similar to the Benefit Pore Professional so if you can't get your hands on Makeup Forever then just use the Benefit Pore Professional one or any kind of smoothing primer. 
I absolutely love the Kardashians makeup, it always just looks amazing and flawless and I'm obsessed with any looks they do. If you haven't already seen my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial from when she was in Cannes then I will put a little card up here for it now. That was another Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial that I've done. I'm just absolutely obsessed with the makeup that they do. I just think it always looks amazing and flawless and I absolutely love it. If you want me to do any other Kardashian slash Jenna inspired makeup tutorials then just leave them in the comments down below. So for foundation today I'm going to be going in with a new one for me. This is the Lancome Tante Adult Ultra Cushion and this is in the shade 04 Beige Meal. Meal? Um, this is what the foundation compact looks like. It's got like a little sponge to it that the foundation comes out through here. Um, I bought this the other day. I have got the compact for it, but I just haven't put it in there yet. Um, it does also come with this little um, sponge applicator to apply it with, but I think for today, I'm just gonna go in and apply it with my Real Techniques um, complexion sponge. So the foundation comes through that little kind of compartment there. So I'm just gonna press my sponge into the applicator and start applying the foundation. So um, I've heard that this is meant to be a really lovely full coverage foundation that's meant to last for up to 24 hours on the skin. Um, it's also got an SPF of 50 in there as well, which is really nice. For concealer today, I'm gonna to be using one of my favorites from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm gonna use mine today in the shade number 20. Um, I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes just to help brighten up and also to conceal any dark circles. This is one of my all-time favourite concealers from the drugstore or from the high street. It just is so amazing and it's super hydrating with a really good amount of coverage. And I'm going to take the pointed side of my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to blend that in. So for powder today, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and I'm just going to use this on my Real Technique sponge and just set underneath my eyes the concealer underneath there just to stop it from creasing. So I'm just using that on my forehead as well. Or a little bit on my chin and around my mouth, again just to stop any creasing and I just use this in anywhere that I've used that concealer. I'm now going to set the rest of my face using the MAC Studio Fix Powder and this is in the shade NC30. I did purchase this in a slightly darker shade so this is what the colour looks like and I'm going to use this on my Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush and I'm just going to use this all over my skin because Kylie always does tend to have more of a matte skin and then she just highlights certain areas of her face so kind of similar to what I normally do. So I'm just setting down all of the foundation and concealer all over my skin. But her skin does look really lovely and bronze. So today I'm gonna to be going in with one of my favorite bronzers from Tom Ford. Now on the Kylie app, I did see she did use this bronzer. This is the Tom Ford Bronzing Powder in 01 Gold Dust. And I have seen her holding this compact in the video, so I just thought I'd use it. So this is what the bronzer looks like. It is a beautiful, kind of slightly more of a warm tone like Kylie had on in the picture, but it's got a really kind of subtle kind of golden, um, like a sparkly sheen to it so I'm just going to use this obviously if you don't own this bronzer and um you don't want to buy it because obviously it is Tom Ford it is a little bit more of a luxury brand just use any bronzer that you have as you can see this look is automatically just coming together now we've got the um base on now for blusher, um, I think Ariel used the shade Peachy Keen from MAC. Now I don't own that one, but I do own the colour Peaches, which is the uh, initial transition shade that we use through our crease. So I'm going to use this one because it's a really beautiful kind of peachy, warm toned matte blush, which is exactly like the colour Peachy Keen. It's just, Peachy Keen is just a little bit deeper than this, but I'm going to use this one for today because it's the one that I have on hand. So I'm going to use a little bit of this blush um, on my Zoeva. Um, luxury cheek brush and I'm going to apply the blusher a little bit higher than I normally would because Kylie had it almost quite set back I am going to go in a little bit more heavy handed than usual so I'm going to use this kind of on the highest points of my cheek normally I'd be more inclined to apply my blush kind of on the apple of the cheek upwards but for this look today I'm going to go in and apply it kind of higher on the cheeks 
because this is quite a monochromatic kind of peachy look i am going to kind of tie in everything very peachy so the eyes the lips and the cheeks which is really lovely that's why i love this look i haven't done anything like this before Today I'm going to use the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the shade Sin, which is a really kind of beautiful champagne colour. Now Kylie didn't have on um, a gold highlighter or anything like that, it was quite a subtle kind of, um, almost like a white champagne colour. So this is the shade that I'm going to use, and I'm just going to use a really little bit on the tops of my cheekbones just on the highest point of my cheekbones, so not bringing it too far forward, kind of keeping it to the outer part of the cheek and on the cupid's bow. So on the lower lash line Kylie had this exact same peach colour kind of blown out and smoked out all underneath the eyes. For that I'm going to go back in with my Kai shadow palette and I'm going to go back in with that centre colour there and I'm going to use that on my MAC 239 flat defining shader brush and I'm just going to pick up some of that product. I'm just going to start popping that underneath the lower lash line. And she did have it quite far connected in as well, so she had it kind of from the inner corner all the way out and connected to the outer corner of the eye. And then after that I'm going to go in and apply some more of the There Real Mascara from Benefit and I'm just going to apply that on my lower lashes. Okay, so as you can see I've just added some mascara to my lower lashes and I've also added a little bit of um, brown eyeliner. This is one from Makeup Forever, I've barely got any of, one, any of this left now. This is the number 25L from the Aqua Eyes collection. This is just a kind of dark brown espresso coloured eyeliner and I've just used a little bit of that in my waterline because Kylie did appear to have on some... Um, eyeliner in her waterline so I've just used that to define the eyes. Lastly onto the lips so the lip colour that Kylie had on was this colour here from Kylie Cosmetics this is the shade Dirty Peach and this was the colour that Makeup Ariel and also Kylie Cosmetics put on their Instagram this was the shade she was wearing so I'm going to use the lip liner first to outline my lips I absolutely love the formula of these Kylie Cosmetics lip liners And the next thing I'm going to use on my lips is the matte liquid lipstick from the lip kit. So this is the most beautiful peach toned liquid lipstick. I have absolutely nothing like this shade. So I'm going to use this now all over the lips. Okay, now to set this look in place, lastly I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the cucumber scented one. Um, this I'm just going to mist all over the skin. It's just going to set down all of the products and make it look a lot more kind of natural and skin-like. So... Okay, so that is the look complete. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial with the monochromatic peach eyes, peachy cheeks and the peach on the lip as well. I'm absolutely obsessed with this makeup. I've never created a look like this before and I'm so happy that I did. I would never normally go for something like this. I'm not really into kind of like peachy lips or anything, but I'm so, so glad that I gave this tutorial a go because I'm now obsessed. And I absolutely love this lip kit. If you haven't got it already, I'd highly recommend Dirty Peach. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future makeup tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next Friday at 8pm in my next one. Bye guys.